Collecting payment is also possible with Tally. So here I'm going to create a new form and in this new form, I'm going to use the feature of the payment. So I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to type payment. All right. So with that, we can create a form that will actually work also with a payment system. So let's say that I'm going to click on insert and suddenly I got my form uh, payment that is here. So I'm going to create a form and um, it's going to be about my anniversary and I will say, hey, my anniversary is on the 18th of June. I am collecting money for my next gift. Let's say that we want to do this. All right. So here I got my form and now what I got to do is to click here on connect with Stripe. So for those who don't know, Stripe, it's a payment system that helps us to collect money. To create a new account, go on stripe.com and click on sign in. Once it's done, we can continue to connect our form, our payment form to Stripe. So once I have clicked on connect with Stripe, I arrive here and I need to connect Tally to Stripe. It's the same process as we had with uh, connection to Notion and uh, Google Sheet. So here I'm going to click on connect because I already got an account. All right. So returning to Tally, you will be redirected soon. And there we go. So finally here we see that it's all set. So here we are. Now I can ask anybody to make a payment for me directly to my uh, account on Stripe. All right, so this is the quick final form that I got and I got a payment of $1. And here I got to enter my uh, number card, my name, my email, and then to click on pay. Once it's published, it's possible for you to retrieve your payments. And you can retrieve your payments actually when you go back to Stripe and you go to payment here on top right, on top left, sorry, you get the payments and here you can see all the payment that will be received. So basically, it's really simple to create a payment with Tally. You just need to use the payment solution that is going to work immediately via Stripe. About the payment fees, for the free users, you got to pay 5% of the payment as a fee plus the Stripe transaction fee, right? For the Tally Pro user, it's free. You got no payment fee except the Stripe payment fee. So basically it would be interesting for you to take the Tally Pro plan if you're going to try to collect money through a Tally form. In this example, I just created this short form that is really quick to do. But basically you could create a form for anything where you would like to collect money. Let's create another form. Let's say that now I want to become a coach and I want to be paid every time somebody is going to take an appointment with me. On Calendly, I got events, all right, and I would like to use them to create a uh, booking uh, for my coaching directly on Tally. So what I would do, I would copy paste the session that is here and I would come back to a form. All right, I'm back on this quick form. Here, I want to book a coaching session. Hello, I would like you to uh, schedule a 30 minute coaching session with me. Please select the time and the amount below to confirm your session. What I would do here is to go on embed anything. There we go. And here I can copy paste the link of my tally session here, my uh, calendar session. Sorry. So here I would put that. I would put embed link. And what's going to happen is that tally is going to embed uh, actually the Calendly. But this is not the only thing that I would like to do. I would like to collect the payment. So I'm going to type payment and there we go. Okay. Collect and receive payment directly from your bank account. And here's the value. So here I got to type the value and here it's going to be 30. Okay. 30 dollar. Uh, uh, so I'm going to uh, click on 30 dollar here. I'm going to click on connect with Stripe. Again, it's going to connect to Stripe account. And look at this, connecting to your Stripe account, all set, and we should be ready. There we go. All right, let's say that I would like to keep this form this way. So here, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to uh, publish this. Okay, I'm publishing it. And now I'm going to test to uh, book a session. Let's try to make a fake payment. Here, it's not going to work, but we're going to see the payment in Stripe. So I'm going to click on pay. And here we see that we've got an error. And if I come back to Stripe, we see that here I got two incomplete payments. I got the previous payment that I did on $1 and I got the payment of 30 
dollar, which is here, which correspond at the date of today. So if I come back to my uh, booking session, which is here, the $30 has been catched, which means that with real money, we can catch actually the payment that is done here directly on our Stripe session. So you see, with Tally, we can collect payment this way by using the module collecting payment and using a Stripe account.